Hey everyone, we're gonna be switching off this armor set back to Bull Jaggy. It's a little more fair. Um, I'm gonna set up Hunter's Oasis. So today we are going, oh wait, we're doing Nodralis. I wanna get a different setup for this character. I am going to be doing Aerial Switch X. Against Nadrella. And my one hunting art, I want to do. I'm actually going to be doing um, Trans Slash 2 instead of Demon Riot. Demon Riot can be really powerful, but um, sometimes it's a little inconsistent for me personally to try and hit. So let's see. We need Nadrella. Yeah, after, um, <laughs> after recording yesterday, what happened was I only recorded two videos and then my friend Kavo came online and we did some co-op and I farmed up and we ended up farming up the, uh, Zenogar armor for my character. Since Kavo uses a cat exclusively, he doesn't really need to farm things up. So we got that armor, um, farmed up. It's a little over torqued for what I'm doing right now, though. I may just go put it on when we have to do the uh, the double kezu. But uh, yeah, right now, I think it'd be a little too much to do. Too much armor. The ability on it is actually not bad for SNSing. Um, now, where would Nadirala start? I'm gonna paintball it. Oh, here we go. Because it likes to dig. And while it does sometimes go in predictable ways, well, that's a sassy pose. It can be predictable sometimes. So one of the reasons I do like Ariel for this, bye. Aside from the fact that Nadral is gigantic, um, Nadral is, you know, gigantic. It's really, really easy <clears throat> to get, like, the aerial hits off on it. While, uh, not missing. Oh, who was a mount? <laughs> and you can get like crazy numbers of mounts on this thing too. We'll probably get three. That's my prediction. Oh, you slippery, slippery snake. The only thing is it's going to be harder to dodge some of the attacks the snake has because we're using this. Yep. Oh, there goes Uber doing excavation. Oofta. See, Nadral has like the sonic, for lack of a better term, sonic boom. It sort of shoots its, like, these spines out. It sort of shoots these spines out, and they have a sonic effect on them. But then he also does, like, this sonic, almost breath attack? Uh-oh. Yeah, see, those have a little sonic effect. I know that pointing at my, my 3DS screen does not help anyone at all. Oh, Uber.
So that was a mount too. That's number two. So the other reason I want to do aerial is I can hit him in the head a lot and not deflect with the switch axe. Because switch axe in sword mode has an innate mind's eye ability. So I think it's been toned down a little bit. <laughs> do our trans slash. I think I missed the beak a lot, but that's fine. Gotta reload my axe. Oh. He mad. Uh oh. I can get out of this. And out of it. <laughs> that that attack deals a lot of damage. Also his like his sonic attacks deal a lot of damage too, but I've I'm hopefully going to be far away from them and never have to deal with getting hit by them. Yeah, that attack. See? It's a lot of damage to take in one blow. <laughs> mm, no, I'm going to heal. I, I'm like, oh, should I hit him? Because I can hit his beak right here. No, I'm going to heal. Uh-oh. And that wasn't really a necessary emergency roll, but better safe than sorry. Okay, that's running. See, like, he has a pretty obvious, like, dig effect. I think that's going to be true of all the monsters that dig in this game. But I still would rather not risk losing it on a record. Yeah, if I were doing this not with not recording, I probably wouldn't give a crap about the paintball. I'd rather just stockpile the things for high rank. Ugh. It's also got a really wonky hitbox. I ran out of stamina. I'm like, oh. Gotta get stam- oh crap. Damn it. Let me- out. Oh, I'm gonna get hit right here, I bet. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. That's sort of the problem right now with using aerials. I don't have a good, like, I don't have stamina recovery up on anything. And I don't have the set I'd love to have for it, which is the Snow Bear and Legombi set. Um, and obviously that wouldn't be upgraded for a while. But yeah, otherwise Ariel, like, aside from moments like that where you run out of stamina, Ariel Switch Axe is really powerful. And we're just going to do this again. And I won't touch the controller. I'll just let it aim itself. Here we go. Oh, he's on down immediately. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Sometimes the game will have the mo a digging monster just zone out to another area completely instantly. Usually it's when they're exhausted. So he went all the way down to two. I know the map isn't on screen, but you'll see it in a second when I load. Um, I think he's asleep. So yeah, he went down to two there. Part of me does want to put the map on the screen, but it's like... When we get into, like, recording high rank and stuff. Yeah, he's asleep. I don't have anything to wake him up with. I think if I aim this correctly... Well, the jump attack's gonna wake him up. And you can only do that attack from aerial stuff. 
from your aerial attack. You can only do the burst. And I think it's a stronger... At least the initial hit, uh, I believe, is stronger. Oh, crap. Oh, good. I always get worried about that because of... Um, I've been, like, hit by that attack a lot of times after I get the first initial stun. The second stun... Or a secondary attack almost always follows it and gets me. Now we're out. I'm just gonna stand here while he does that. So the reason the aerial attack here is so powerful with the uh, the switch X is because you do an attack on the up and down, and it's two really, really powerful attacks in terms of single hit attacks for this weapon. And then you can immediately drop into doing... So let me... Um... So we draw into our sword. Let me bounce off the corpse. No. So we would do our jump attack. And let me see if I can bounce off one of my cats. No, oh, Kelby. Nope. Well, <laughs> take my word for it. It's... You'll definitely jump. You'll bounce. And you do an up and a down attack. And you can immediately jump into doing this attack. Because that double slice is really, really strong. I didn't use it so much in this. Because I was mostly running around and waiting for my opportunity to strike. But, um, yeah. Aerial Switch X, really powerful and really fun. Can't wait to do more of it. I just have to find good monsters to do it on. Okay, so thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time for, I think it's going to be Double Kezu.